In this module, we'll do a demo of preparing your AVS private cloud to host VMs, configuring DNS, DHCP, and network segments for VMs. We'll start here in the Azure portal, uh, open to our private cloud object. We'll start looking at DNS configuration. Now, when you provision your private cloud, uh, a default DNS service and a default forwarder zone will be created for you. Um, this will allow AVS resource to resolve public names, but you likely have on-premises resources that you're going to need to resolve, and those are likely on private IP space, so we need to configure a private forwarder. So we'll do that by, from the DNS tab, with DNS zone selected, click Add, and we'll create an FQDN zone, a fully qualified domain name zone. We'll give the zone a name, we'll give it a name of stickers, we're going to map to our internal domain stickers.corp. The domain itself is stickers.corp. And the DNS servers are these. Cool. OK, so now we have a zone configured for our on-prem domain with DNS servers configured for it. Uh, now we add this zone to our server. So again, here is our default DNS service that was created. We're going to click Edit. Uh, the name is fine. Um, default DNS zone is fine. That we'll use the default one. And under FQDN zones, we're going to pick from the drop down and we're going to check our the stickers one that we just created. And we'll hit OK. There we go. Now anything any VMs that are using that DNS forwarder service uh, for DNS will be able to conditionally resolve stickers.corp resources using the DNS server servers we provided. Uh, next, we'll configure DHCP, and we're going to add a uh, DHCP server um, to the NSX configuration. Uh, we can create two different types here. We can do a relay or a server. Uh, we're going to create a server here. Um, this will be a um, IP address configured in NSXT that will hand out IP addresses from pools defined on the segments. The other option here is to do a relay, and with a relay, we would provide um, an IP address for a DHCP service that was you know, on-prem or deployed as an appliance or VM within your private cloud object, and you would manage scopes there. Uh, but for this, we'll do a server. We'll give it a name like prodavs one PC DHCP. We'll give it an IP range, and this is a, a an IP address in a segment. So the DHCP server will get the address of 30.1 on, on the slash 24 network. We'll leave the default least time. We'll hit OK. And now the actual DHCP configuration is done on the segments themselves, so we'll add a few segments. We're going to add some for our VMs. Uh, we have a list of segments from our helpful network folks that we're going to create here. First one is workloads1, which is 192.168.53.1.24. And we have to define a DHCP range. We have to give the, give the NSXT defined DHCP server a range of DHCP addresses to hand out. And we'll do 100 through 240. It should be plenty. I'm going to follow that same process to add a workloads to and a management. Let's two and now our management. So we've got a slightly smaller pool. One hundred to one twenty five. Okay, there are segments defined. We're going to log into vCenter now and, uh, and take a look at those. And copy the address. Open a new tab. Paste. Launch the client. Uh, copy the admin password. Cloud admin at vSphere.local. Paste in the password. If I go over here to my networking tab, we can see the segments I created are there and ready for VMs to be attached to them. All right, in that demo, 
We configured uh, DNS forwarders, we configured DHCP within our AVS private cloud, and we configured some network se segments for VMs to be connected to. And that was our last demo for the series. So let's recap the uh, deployment deep dive series. We talked about things to think about before you deploy your private cloud. We demoed deploying your private cloud. We talked about preparing your private cloud for consumption, and we demoed a variety of post-deployment tasks. If you'd like to learn more about Azure VMware Solution, we've put together a playlist of content from VMworld, and we have a few additional resources we direct you to as well. There's the Azure VMware Solution uh, Tech Zone portal. There are the Azure VMware Solution hands-on labs. There's our VMware Cloud Ready framework for AVS, and there's the Microsoft Cloud Adoption framework for Azure mentioned in the uh, governance portion. We'll put all these links in the video description as well. Thank you for sticking with us through this series. We hope you found it valuable. If you have any feedback, questions, comments, please do reach out and let us know. Thank you.